in their gas stations. They got the young guys in there with guns on their hip, assault rifles in their hands. And it's just, it ain't fair. My son did, I just buried my mama last Thursday. I just buried my sister a month ago. And now I got buried my son. Yeah. I, my granddaughter got killed in, in Phoenix, Arizona on the first of the year. And before I could grieve my mama, they killed my baby, my son. And it's, it's, it ain't fair that they should be able to steal, let people open up and let people come and buy stuff out of there. He just needs to feel the spirit. He believed in the Lord and he loved everybody. He had a big heart. He just lost his wife. His wife died in a tragic Paris on 75. When was this? This was a few years ago. She was a wrong way driver on 75. He lost his, he lost his wife. He turned around, he lost his son. And then he took his I just want justice. justice. No, that's absolutely unacceptable, right? He wasn't in there victimizing no brothers and sisters. He wasn't in there robbing, armed robbing the establishment. He wasn't pranking harm to nobody. And according to the family and according to the community folk, he was shaking the machine, trying to get a return on some of his money. That's unacceptable. I don't care what he was doing, though. What about that part? That's the real narrative. You're not going to criminalize his brother. You're not going to destroy his brother's character, right? Because you don't know him. What we do know is that he's dead. What we do know is that he was killed by an 18-year-old a clerk who obviously was not trained. It's unacceptable. We have a program, Dignity for Detroit, New Era. We got a program specifically designed to train businesses, right? Specifically designed to teach them good customer service and cultural sensitivity. We have a program. We've trained gas stations throughout the city. We've been here before. We've been doing this since 94. We've been doing this since Reginald Dick. We've been doing this since Dan Leon Roberts got killed on Six Mile Southfield. When we shut them down for six months. We've been doing this since the young brother got shot over a bag of chips on Warren in Southfield. How much more of this? Y'all got a problem. You don't understand how to treat black people. You don't know how to serve black people. You have completely disqualified yourself from the privilege of serving our community. You gotta get up out of here. It was never opened up. We ain't going to no table. And we're going to cut straight to the chase. And we're sending out a call out to all the Middle Easterns, to all these gas stations around the city and around the state that have been disrespecting black people left and right. I ain't going to keep it politically correct. Y'all got to go. And I'm tired of y'all disrespecting black women every time they come up in y'all stores. All of that is about to end. All of that ends today. We're we'll telling y'all about our communities. Y'all can make money. Y'all can get rich off our blood, sweat, and tears. But every time we look up, y'all disrespecting us. Y'all won't give us a job. Y'all won't put a penny back into the community. It's time for all of that to end. It's time for y'all to go. Y'all days of free passes and free reigns of disrespecting the black community is dead and is gone. So just let y'all know, y'all time is up. Y'all clock has uh, done. It's up, it's it's done. It's up, baby. It's done playing with y'all. Y'all playing games in the wrong neighborhoods with the wrong people. I understand that y'all got no respect for black people. I understand that y'all have the lowest regard for black women. But we're here to change that today. And this ain't no option. We're not giving y'all no more chances. We're not giving y'all no more opportunities to change y'all ways. It's time to go. Y'all only way of staying in black communities is to put money back into them communities. Them same communities that y'all been raping. Them same communities that y'all been pillaging. It's time for y'all to go. A nation whose women are not protected is a nation that's worth no respect. No respect. I'm tired of them disrespecting our women and the brothers standing back letting it slide. How long are we gonna let it slide? That's why don't nobody respect us. Black men, if you can't stand up, you need to go sit your ass in the corner and cover up like the. Did you try to watch my legs? Did you know he advised that anybody who still continues to support businesses like this, you are part of the problem too. That's right. We got a problem with anybody that's continuing to give these people money, anybody that's condoning this type of thing. I don't care what this man did. I don't care if he was shaking the machine. I don't care if you broke the machine. I don't care what he was doing. I don't care what's going on. The problem is the lack of accountability for life. Who cares about our life? Who cares about our sons, about our daughters and our fathers? This is too many times over and over again. 
Like my brother said, it will not be tolerated. We're gonna find all the gas stations that you got, because we know you got more than one. We gonna, this is not good goodness. The problem is, is that every year we have to do this. Every six months, every eight months, we had another gas station. So the time has come and we are already in the works. Like my brother said, we have the programs available to teach these gas stations, to teach these people who don't live in our communities how to teach us, how to help us. We the ones suffering from the poverty. We the ones suffering from the mental illness and the mental problems. We the ones suffering from the systematic racism and the problems in our community. Nobody is living in the inner city going through what we're going through except us. I think all black people in the neighborhood need to support black-owned gas stations. We have a new black-owned gas station that's on Van Dyke by No Deal. It's called Steve's Park Shop. Support black businesses in the community. Thank you. We're not holding these businesses accountable. But we are. We will.